the last of my girls um, that are graduating. So I'm really sad right now because this will be the last time. So please, everybody work hard. I'm really going to miss you guys. <laughs> cheers to the third show. Yes. Still, the cheers to the third show. Oh, no tears. Tears. There's no tears. No. All right, so no, give no, each no, other no. a squeeze each other right now. No. Good point, Mom. Mexican girl dancing Thai, and these are all their backgrounds or um, where their parents are from. So they become proud of that culture, and therefore they take this home and they talk to their parents about it, and then their parents become more open-minded as well. So I think the the main thing is the journey of dancing and the self-discovery. So it was very important for me to bring that, that together, the entire school and community to be one and um, kind of through that teach them about themselves and self-respect and respect for others and also learning how to deal and work with others and most important no matter how difficult the situation may be you can overcome it so that was kind of my whole how the class started that the school loaned itself for global for a global attitude well I was in a fortunate situation to come to Bravo where it's a melting pot of different backgrounds, socioeconomic groups when it opened. So I thought that would be a, a great opportunity to bring students together and learn from each other. <laughs> Whatever you're watching, I'm not drooling. You gotta be careful, you're tempting romance. Don't keep your eyes on her hips. Oh, those naughty little hips. Uh -uh. Just keep your eyes on her hand. Remember, she's telling a story to you. If her old boy's. Um. Uh, let me think, I'm trying to think, you know, students from every background and it was important for me to, to kind of bring them together and teach them that there's a commonality and the commonality could be music, could be dancing, um, our way our parents raise us. Um, the first generation um, student always has uh, adapt, trying to adapt to 
you know, the regular school environment and the commonalities that we share. So being that now we're in a global society, I am, I am introducing them to each other because they will be able to work with different type of people. Um, For me, my teaching experience with the students have been very positive, very, very loving. And I have um, had, I'm very fortunate to have had great students. Um, but my whole, the whole, the reason or how I got into dancing or teaching dance um, was when I was little, my oldest sister would um, take me and then I had to take the bus by myself at the age of 12 across the city to take um, lessons and that kind of stayed with me and what happened was I learned a lot of empowerment I've learned um, self-confidence so that was my um, reasoning for using dance as a tool and giving that back to the students it was very important for me being that I had a um, not a rough childhood, but a difficult childhood. So that was my outlet. So teaching dance, I knew that I would be able to reach students that may have had the struggles I had. And the struggles could be in different aspects, not identical to mine, but in general growing up, you're doubting yourself. Um, you don't know who you are, you're insecure. So I wanted my messages deliver as empowerment, um, just making them strong and feel loved and um, confidence and anything that I would want for myself is what I've tried to give to my students. <laughs> self-discovery and empowerment and it's not okay to be okay you have to be better than okay be your best represent who you are wherever you are love, love, love that I, I receive in my PE classes as well as my dance classes. My PE kids um, often compliment and they clap when I walk in or they hug me and um, we have a very positive learning environment and that just, I feel the love and it's, it's very hard for me to leave because I get it from the, the PE kids, my, the athletic side of me, the tomboy side, and then I get it from um, my girls in dance. So I have a very um, blessed day.
to continue to move forward and be true to themselves is very important. Be honest, but most important, be true to yourself and move on. And like anything I want for them that I would want for myself or my own, my own children. Uh, empowerment, to be a leader, to know how to negotiate, to, to overcome um, the challenges of life. Those are the things that I, I want them to take away from the class and not to give up. And I, I believe very strongly that if you are strong within, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I try to transmit that to my students to believe in themselves and everything will fall in place. My name is Brian, I'm a 12th grader. My name is Rita and I'm a 12th grader as well. Hey, my name is Gabriel Barales and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Anae Diaz and I am a senior and I've been in dance for three years. Hi, I'm Karen and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Elisa. I am a freshman. Olivia Palomino and I'm in 11th grade. Hi, my name is Gracie Alessio and I'm in 9th grade. My name is Jennifer and I'm a, I'm a senior in 12th grade. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm a senior. Hi guys, my name is Brianna and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Jesus. Um, my name is Lizzie. My name is Cushy. My name is Jeanette. My name is Gia Guzman, and I'm a freshman. And my name is Leslie Ariano, and I am a 12th grader. Hi, my name is Yaira Ramirez, and I'm a 12th grader as well. Oh, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, it was the best time of my life. And really enjoyed dancing, and it opened up my, my character a lot. Yeah, I feel like being in dance changes you and it makes you become a better person in a way where you understand people and their aspects of life. It's been really life changing. It taught me a lot of things and um, I feel like I've bonded with all the girls and it's like a sisterhood. And um, yeah, like whenever I'm feeling down, I can always have people to count on. And um, yeah, it's just like a really bonded and united family that um, I can always be myself around. And it just relieves like all my stress during the day, and it just makes me happy. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. I mean, she bullies me most of the time, you but don't like, see it. <laughs> but, like it, it's pretty cool. Like it's a sisterhood. Um, I agree with her. It is a sisterhood. I feel like um, high school is like a lot more different when you're in a part of a team because you learn how to like communicate with others, and you learn how to go out there and do what you love, which is dancing and it has been very amazing and dance is fun. We get, all get the chance to motivate each other and come together as a team. Dances of the World is a family and we just finished our show in Pep Rally which has been very fun as well. Um, I've had a really good experience because it made me grow as a person and I met a lot of new people. The program has um, helped, me, helped me become more confident. Um, just the experience itself has helped not just me, but all of us, because it's not only about the dancing and stuff, it's about like, think, like thinking of other things and like knowing how to um, take charge of the situation and stuff. Um, well, when I first started to dance, I really, I didn't know like what to expect, like how hard it was going to be. And then the first semester, it was all kind of new to me and we would like stay for practices and we would like learn the dances. And you know, like during practice, I'm not gonna lie, I would I would get like frustrated with myself because I didn't think I could do it. But the girls here are really just the most supportive, and like they would always tell me, "No, you can do it, you can do it." And it overall, it has just been a really a great experience. Um, it's been pretty cool. You know, it takes you out of your comfort zone, and also you get to make a lot of new friends, other classmen, upperclassmen and it's very social in general. I am a Starbucks barista outside of school. I work usually like three to four days a week. I'm in a mariachi girl called Nova Amanecer and I've been there for at least a year and it's something that's been keeping me busy. You know, like I'm not just at home or like I'm busy. I'm in another dance company. It's called Pacifico Dance Company. <clears throat> and I, I especially like to do Dances of the World because 
In Pacifico, we do mainly all um, folklorico and ballet. So joining Dances of the World was actually something different that I had never been exposed to. I am in a folklorico group outside of dance called Ballet Folklorico Sol de Fuego that my dad founded with um, two of his best friends. And then I'm also in a mariachi. I'm, I'm in a couple mariachis. I'm in one that's in Yola, that's barely starting off, and then I'm in one in Plaza de la Raza, and I've been in that one for a while now, and that's where I really learned like, all the basic techniques. And then I am also in my own group called Mariachi Celosu. Yeah, I do volleyball. I'm in my volleyball <laughs> outfit right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, um, I actually play with a um, grupo. It's called Resistencia Norteño, and we do gigs. Um, in state and sometimes out of state and yeah resistance yeah what i'm gonna miss most about dance is learning about all the different cultural dances that we do well um, definitely the friends i've made because we built really like strong relationships so hopefully i get to see them as much as i can the seniors the seniors were really nice they really made the year just one to remember Okay, so I'm really going to miss Miss Colvian being in Dances of the World and the seniors as well. Dances of the World is a family. We all have our icebreakers in the beginning of the year and it ends with a very strong bond that we have. Um, I'm going to miss my friends the most. Dance is something that, I, that me and my friends got closer in. Uh, me, I'm going to miss my, my hobby, Brian and Miss Colvian using me for everything. Nah, but for real, I'm a, that's the whole class in general, you know how I said, it takes you to your comfort zone, so I feel like that always helps to grow as a person, so that's probably the thing I'll miss. What I'm really going to miss over the summer is seeing everybody every day, because um, everybody makes an impact on my day, like, no matter who it is, like, uh, maybe like a wave or like a smile or like someone saying hi, like, it makes my day, and like, it just... Yeah, so I'll miss that motivation and encouragement during the summer and I'm looking forward to meeting new people and to uh, interact and bond as one family. The thing I'm going to miss the most is like the memories we made. Like this year, like we came like across a lot of like issues and setbacks, but together like as a class, we were able to overcome that. And I think like um, having that experience made us like united. And I think I'm gonna miss the most is having the feeling like of being able to come and like relax because dance is like a totally different class from other classes. People don't understand that and it's more where you can come and be yourself. Whereas in other classes it's more like a bit strict I guess you could say. Um, I think just all the different types of activities that we had to do. Um, Disneyland was a very uh, special one that all of us enjoyed knots we did knots this year and I think just having the sisterhood with all of the girls was nice to get to see different girls every day and just be with them. This is probably the, the people, I remember the people. Yeah. yeah I feel like you take with yourself the memories and like the experiences that you make and I feel like that's what changes you to be a better person. <laughs> What dance been like? It's been good. We have a lot of fun. It's we're one big family. <laughs> I just to say. <laughs> Let me do that over. So, what has your experience in dance been like? So, my experience in dance has been very like. Hi, my name is Brianna, and I'm a senior. <laughs> Which is very so. What's that word? Wait, what's that word? Empathetic or whatever? But yeah, I don't know what empathetic means, but okay. But yeah. Um, <coughs> two, right. one. <laughs> You're first! Alright, my name is Brian. And I'm Rita. Oh! I'm a twin. Redo! <laughs> Me, I think what I'm gonna miss mostly is my homie Brian. <laughs> Why do you make me laugh? <laughs> so, <laughs> what college you guys have to? You go UCLA, 
you only go to UCLA, UCSD, and become doctor, okay? You need to get good degree, no boyfriend, no kiss till you marry, okay? And I need to find Asian boyfriend or the white boyfriend because they're rich. You need to go to college, become doctor, get PhD, okay? 